Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. Today is Monday, September 19th. I'm Marisa Christian. For weeks, NASA's defunct 7-ton research satellite has been falling towards Earth with the potential of shattering on the Earth's surface and raining debris on densely populated areas. The space agency has confirmed the impending threat, saying it is set to crash by the end of the week. But where will the upper atmosphere research satellite hit exactly, and should people be worried? Not according to NASA, the space agency wrote in an advisory that the public risk to safety is small, and safety is NASA's top priority. They wrote, since the beginning of the space age in the late 1950s, there have been no confirmed reports of an injury resulting from re-entering space objects. The satellite is expected to make a crash landing on Earth, filling a 500-mile wide range of land across Britain, Europe, northern Canada, southern South America, and three oceans. NASA has said it is hard to predict the exact date of the re-entry. As of yesterday, September 18th, the orbit of UARS was 133 miles by 149. Re-entry is expected September 23rd, plus or minus a day. The satellite has been in orbit for six years in what NASA calls a productive scientific life. The $750 million UARS satellite has been dead in orbit since 2005 when it was decommissioned after a 14-year Earth observation mission. NASA reported that more than 500,000 pieces of debris or space junk are tracked as they orbit the Earth. They travel at speeds up to 17,500 miles per hour fast enough for a relatively small piece of orbital debris to damage a satellite or spacecraft. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.